when, when looking at tooling like Coverity um, and looking at the ROI, there's usually a process, let's take something a very large code base, you know, 10, 20 million lines, 10,000 engineers, that sort of scale. Um, the ROI takes a little bit of time before you can really um, quantify it. There is certainly uh, a high level of effort in terms of getting the tool in, getting it up and running, setting it up, but you can do that in a very quick, small scale. As you start getting through some of the false warnings and tuning the checkers better, that's when you start to really see a very large leap in productivity as well as in um, reduction in, in actual uh, bugs. Um, at a larger company that I had worked at prior, I think we calculated within the, the first three months there was at least 600 to 1,000 real bugs, not minor problems, but sort of SEV2 and SEV1 that were caught by the tool. Translate each one of those in terms of, typically those would be a five day turnaround in terms of you know, finding the bug, diagnosing, debugging, fixing, integrating again, 1,000 times five days, that's 5,000 you know, people days or man days of, of effort that was effectively saved when it was probably a one or two minute fix using the tool. So there's a very massive uh, increase in productivity and certainly as we moved forward once we had a baseline established the number of uh, bugs that were found by both development and test engineers reduced and we could actually show through the tooling how many bugs were actually fixed by an engineer uh, prior to um, even committing the code into the um, into the you know the the main branches um, in a small team we, we don't actually measure it as, as, as um, precisely as I'd say in a large enterprise environment, but it's key with both the anecdotal evidence as well as you know, some of the key issues that we see in our historical code, that the ROI is very high, it can get, um, that ROI can be achieved very quickly, um, and um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's one of these things that you actually have to live through, believe it, make sure it happens, and um, become a hero after six months for solving so many customer problems that never actually got there. I think when, when, when looking at any tooling and you know, tools such as Coverity, how do you measure the business outcome? Um, it's a really interesting question because it's actually multiple facets to it. There's the outcome of having higher quality code, delivering it to a product, delivering that product faster to our customer. That's a clear, recognizable, revenue recognizable um, outcome. But the indirect outcomes are just as big, if not bigger than that. With tools that give you fast feedback to an engineer that are easy to use, what ends up happening is you start building a culture of quality, a culture of actually saying, I want to find the bug before my friend before my, my partner, and I have the tools that allow me to do that. So it improves the productivity of the team as a whole, whether it be the development engineer or a test engineer. It allows them to focus on the really hard problems versus the really sim simple problems. Similar to how you'd have a compiler compile code and find a bunch of syntax errors, um, tools such as Coverity allow you now to find much more harder problems prior to going through a whole test cycle, which might be a two month test cycle, and then having to reproduce and go through that whole piece. So it actually accelerates your iteration, which actually allows you to get to the customer faster, which actually lets feedback back to the, the, the development and product team faster, and, and so on. So it's not just about delivering the product faster and better to the customer, it actually changes the culture in the company to be one that expects higher quality and we've also given the tools to the developer to allow them to succeed at doing that. And that is actually a very subtle but almost just as large impact on uh, the whole business outcome of how you deliver great software to your customers.